What's up, YouTube? Back with a look at some of the top player props available for Monday Night Football Week 14. We have the Arizona Cardinals hosting the New England Patriots. Joey, your New England Patriots. A couple of good props on this slate. What do you like for tonight? So my favorite prop for tonight is Mac Jones over 220 and a half passing yards on prize picks. I like the over in this spot. I just think it's a good spot for the Patriots passing attack. And I mean, as we all know, big Patriots fan over here and I usually have the right read on these games and on this team in general and coming off of you know a lackluster game against the Buffalo Bills he gets an easier matchup against the Cardinals secondary that is bottom eight in terms of passing yards allowed to opposing quarterbacks they they are down their best corner in Byron Murphy who also plays in the slot the Patriots are also missing some weapons on offense and Jacoby Myers and Damian Harris who have both been ruled out for this game so I think with Ramondre Stevenson as the only capable running back for the Patriots and a bunch of you know average pass catchers I think that the Patriots best means of generating offense in this spot is by you know going more pass heavy with those pass catchers Obviously, they aren't great, but they can get the job done. 220 and a half, I think, is just too low. This line is 224 and a half and higher on multiple sports books. So you are getting a little bit of a discount here on prize pick. So 220 and a half for Mac Jones is my favorite prop. Hit the over on that for tonight. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. He's minus 142 to go over 226 and a half on Pinnacle. And I, I think that the best pass catcher here to pair him with in a slip would be Nelson Aguilar, 29 and a half receiving yards. You mentioned Byron Murphy being out, who does primarily cover the slot for the Cardinals secondary. With Jacoby Myers out, I think Aguilar is the clear cut next man up to take that high voluminous slot role in the Patriots offense. I don't see Tyquan Thornton or Devontae Parker really kicking inside, maybe born a little bit, but I really do think, you know, Aguilar's played 33% of his snaps in the slot as is. He makes a lot of sense to just be the natural fit there. I think that he is going to have a big game tonight. And frankly, 30 is just too low. He's minus 120 to go over 32 and a half yards on DraftKings. So Nelson Aguilar is probably my favorite Pat's bet right there with the Mac Jones passing yards. Yeah, and a solid correlation bet. Um, I mean, you look at projections, Nelson Aguilar is projected to go about 15 yards over this line. And like you said, he should move into the slot a little bit more with Jacoby Myers ruled out. Had an 8% target share last week. That was third on the team behind Jacoby Myers and Devontae Parker, but a 21% target share the week before against Minnesota and Nelson Aguilar is capable of a bit of big plays. So, so even if Nelson Aguilar isn't playing a lot, let's say, because they do like to rotate and it is kind of like a hot hand approach at the wide receiver position for the Patriots, even if he's not playing, he can still get there in one play, you know, mm -hmm. all, all it takes is one play for Nelson Aguilar. So you have the big play upside there. Um, doesn't need to rack up a ton of catches to hit this prop like a Jacoby Myers. Uh, so, 29 and a half good correlation piece with Mac Jones over passing yards for sure. All right, we can't just stack up the Patriots here. We got to throw somebody from Arizona in here. And I like Kyler Murray the most fantasy score 17 and a half. You're getting a little bit of an edge there compared to other prop sites, i.e. underdog, where his line is three points higher. I just think it makes a lot of sense to go with Kyler Murray here. This is an offense with you know, DeAndre Hopkins is the clear-cut alpha, but other than that, the ball gets spread out quite a bit. We know the Patriots will make a very concerted effort to try and limit Hopkins. Hopkins props still look good to me, but I just think that, you know, trying to get all of your value through Kyler Murray makes a lot of sense. And this line is just too low for a dual-threat quarterback who realistically is rushing, you know, for like 50 yards every single week. He has a lot of upside, I think, in this spot at home in a dome. And I know that you've sort of mentioned that the Patriots are susceptible to giving up points to rushing quarterbacks. Maybe you can touch on that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the the Patriots just don't have the personnel to keep up with mobile athletic quarterbacks. I mean, we've seen that with Josh Allen this year. We've seen that with Justin Fields. We've seen that with Lamar Jackson. So this is just kind of a trend for the Patriots defense. They don't have the players to keep up with quarterbacks that can move the pocket, that can scramble, that can create yards on their own just because the linebackers that they are rolling out are run-stuffing downhill linebackers. So it's a good matchup for Kyler, in my opinion. 17 and a half is just too low. I will note that the Cardinals are down a ton of offensive linemen, and New England does pressure the quarterback at one of the highest 
great of any team. So maybe prize picks know something that we don't, um, but we do have that information. They're down DJ Humphreys, Justin Pugh, Rodney Hudson, and Will Hernandez on the offensive line. So they are trotting out a backup offensive line for the Arizona Cardinals. That is the only concern. I still think with Kyler Murray's rushing upside, it gives him a nice floor here. And then over his last three or four games, he's also been performing pretty well through the air and they're at home against a beatable Patriots secondary for sure. So I think a lot of quick game stuff. I think a lot of Kyler Murray rushing a time should mitigate some of the pass rush concern for the Arizona Cardinals in the spot. So over 17 and a half, it's just too low when you compare it to other sites. So you got, you got to take the over here. Definitely agree with that, but we know that three picks on prize picks are the lowest EV bet that you can make. So let's add one more, make this full fledged four pick power, close us out with uh, something good here. Yeah. I mean, this is a very Patriots heavy video, um, but my fourth favorite prop is Ramondre Stevenson over 33 and a half receiving yards. I mentioned that Jacoby Myers is out and Damian Harris is out. We saw last week with no Damian Harris against Buffalo, Ramondre Stevenson played 98% of the Patriots snaps, literally did not leave the field at all. He has a ton of upside in the receiving game. And I know that the whole world was on the over last week. And so was I, my video Last Monday went three and one or two Mondays ago or whenever the Patriots played. My video went three and one and Ramondre Stevenson over receiving was the only loss in that video. That just means that he's hitting today. 100%. 100%. He will see the targets. He's averaging 7.7 targets in his last five games. His line is at five receptions. I think if he's getting five receptions, he's hitting 33 and a half receiving yards. But you don't have to play for a push if you play the receiving yards over the receptions. And it's a good spot going up against Arizona, a team that I think they can move the ball against. And Ramondre Stevenson is one of the best, you know, yards after contact players in the NFL. So he could get this in one catch. So you got the big play upside there in terms of a nice screen pass that he could take to the house. And, you know, let's say he finishes like four for 35 or or five for 40. Like he's not hitting his receptions, but he's hitting his yards and if he's getting six catches to win you the receptions bet he's probably getting 33 and a half receiving yards um so Ramondre Stevenson over 33 and a half he's due nobody's gonna play it because he burned everybody last week that just means you have to play him this week 100 percent. all right there you have it four picks four overs Mac Jones passing Ramondre receiving Nelson Aguilar receiving and Kyler Murray over on fantasy score shit's absolutely hit and hope you guys like this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe like this video we greatly appreciate everybody who's been supporting the prize picks content lately and I will be back with another banger tomorrow morning taking an early look at the week 15 slate absolutely crushed on last week's Tuesday video. So make sure you stay tuned to that and are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss a video. Until next time, guys, let's stay profitable. We'll talk to you then.